and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. My name is Blue. Alongside of me is Mr. Joe Grande. Changing my name to Dan Herrera. Dan, Dan Herrera. Herrera. Or Herrera. Yeah, Herrera. 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 Dan Herrera. Herrera like terror. Herrera. 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 Herrera like terror. Jack Herrera, son. Yes, hair like terror. Hair like terror. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you too, Blue, by the way. I know you weren't finished, but well, my bad. Uh, uh, we, and we are the number one source for everything cannabis. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I, once again, sorry for interrupting you. I was just looking uh, at Dan. He was, he was looking so sexy over there in the corner. Thank yes. you guys for listening to our podcast all around the world. Check out the website, CannabisTalk101.com, as we have so many great articles and blogs on the site for you guys to read. Call us up anytime, 1-800-420-1980. Check out our IG pages at Cannabis Talk 101. Blue is at the number one, Christopher Wright. Hello. I am at Joe Grande 52 and I yes, got to remind you guys about advanced nutrients. They got a complete growing system for cannabis that optimizes all phases and cycles to bring your crops to their true genetic potential. Discover more at advancednutrients.com. Com. On the show, these guys have been out here hanging and banging all Man. week long so far. We've, We've been seeing them oh, yeah, all the over the place, you guys. Alonzo and Shabaka, the founder of We Smoke Inc., a social media networking application and websites. Download it today. Yes. Go check them out online or on IG at WeSmokeApp.com or on IG we smoke at my man is from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. And he's been supporting the cannabis culture for a long, long time. That's right. That's right. Thank you for coming on the show, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing okay, uh, man. We're alive today. We're trying to make it happen, Captain. That's right. You, so tell us about the app, man. What, how, how did you come with this vision? Because if I'm not mistaken, you guys want the world to see it. And We Smoke gives you the space to share it. Talk about it. Okay, really, really simple. Everybody knows that, everybody understands the importance of social media. Social media is king right now when it comes to marketing anything. And the cannabis industry is no different. However, when you go on Instagram, when you go on Facebook, when you go on TikTok, a lot of times they will shut your page down or they will shadow ban you for posting cannabis products. We know. Right? We the know. other thing is this. Also well. The other thing is this, because cannabis is not federally legal, you cannot market on radio or TV because the FCC can get you. Yeah. So you need social media. When Instagram decided to shut us down, we created our own. So our app is the Instagram of we. That, Post. How great is that? Is that what happened? You got literally got shut down by them and said, I'm doing this myself. Absolutely. We, we, we looked at the idea and said, you know what? They're missing a whole market here. They're ignoring us. The cannabis market is growing and they're ignoring it. They're still acting like it should be in the shadows. And that's why we get the name We Smoke. It's not just saying we smoke. It's a declaration. We smoke. We're not afraid to say it. We're not going to hide in the, in the shadows. We're going to bring it out in the open and let everybody see it. You know, I'll tell you what. I it, love it. It, it. There's such a huge market for this because just, I mean, I, I feel like, not, not I feel like, three days before this show, our whole account went down. And it's the mm. first time that we've ever actually been shut down. You know, we, 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 and we don't play by the rules at all. I mean, but we've been very fortunate. We've been uh, threatened a bunch, bunch of times. And we've been very fortunate to not be shut down. But this last three days ago, they shut us down. And I'll tell you, my heart dropped. I've been being shadow banned for the last, you know, 10 years online. Uh, and, and it comes in and then comes out. And I can tell by the, my views and my comments and all that stuff. I go from, you know, 10 to 30,000 views, comments, likes, and follows, and, and all kinds of stuff, down to 300. Yes, wow. You know, and, and it's just like, and, it's, and, and you have to understand, like, they're getting better at banning us, too. <laughs> right. You know? Right. And, and I, you know, I... I the other day when it shut down, my whole heart dropped. My, my feelings were hurt. I was like, oh, my God, what are we going to do to get our back? And then, you know, We Smoke provides us with a, a platform 
that we can actually support the cannabis industry in. It's it's for cannabis users by cannabis users. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's something that I, I appreciate, man. Are, are you Puerto Rican? Yes, I am. You know I am too, right? Oh, yeah, no, I did not you know, know that. You didn't know that, huh? <laughs> Is that the yeah. New York thing? Well, you guys are looking at each other. I, 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 you know, I, Reunited I, I, and it feels so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, you know, it, and, and it, having that, it said that, you know, more people need to use it. So so tell me what it's like as far as, like, how do, how do you register in? Uh, is it very similar to just it's, the Instagram app, email, face? It's, uh, it's it very goes? similar to the Instagram app that you go to the app store, you um, search for We Smoke, one word, W-E-S-M-O-K-E. You download the app. You can... You can Download the app and start your own We Smoke page for free. Nice. It, does, it doesn't cost anything. We do have a premium subscription, and that's for if you want more functions. But most people just want to post pictures and videos, and they want to share and comment and DM. The same thing that you can do on Instagram, you can do on here for free. Don't worry about getting shut down. But we do more than Instagram. Instagram allows you to do that, right? We also allow you to create your own groups within the app. So you can have your app, and then you can have a West Coast group or, or a New York group or a chapter or whatever and create different groups. We also have an audio room similar to Clubhouse. So you can have audios in there. We also do events. So you can post your events. People can go there, find your event, um, open the event and purchase tickets for your event right through the app. But most important, we have a learning center, which is an educational site. Nice. When you go on there, it has very it has different categories. You want to you want to look for legal. You hit the legal category. You look for your state. It'll tell you what the what the laws are in your state. That way, if you're in New York and you're allowed to carry such three ounces, and you go to Jersey and maybe it's one ounce, you're not going to get caught out there. Tell them bounce. You, you'll know <laughs> what it is. Next year, we add in a directory. And we're also adding a rating system so that people, the community themselves can rate what's the best brands of weed, what's the best companies to deal with. We're allowing the community to educate itself. It's an each one teach one networking uh, on platform on social media. You know, who came up with this brainchild? Oh, I did He's the genius behind <laughs> hey, it. Hey, man, how long, did it take <laughs> really? you, how long did it take you to develop this? Because... You know, there's so many functions that are on this app that, you know, it, it, it's it, not any geek off the street can pull that off. How, how did you pull it off? Do you have a tech background or did you no, just... No, I, I, I really, listen, I'm the visionary. I've seen, the, I seen what, what was needed based on, I, I'm a cannabis user. I yeah. smoke. I've been smoking since I was a kid. I don't want to say that, but <laughs> I say a long time. Me too. Though. Yeah, we <laughs> so, can say that, yeah. So, um, and then I'm on social media. So I was able to see what was necessary, what was needed. Right. Um, and I decided, you know what, instead of continuing to fight Instagram to unlock my page or to uh, appeal, you know, them shut me down, let's create something. But when we created it, we wanted to do more than Instagram. We looked at what was the, the benefits that each app gives us and can we combine it all in one? It took us a year to create the app. Wow. Wow. You know, a year I, and a lot of trials and tribulations, yes. I'm sure. Putting yes. out the bugs, huh? Yes. You know, let's talk about some of the bugs when we come back. It's Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after this break. Yes. Yes. During your typical, it is something special, you guys. When it comes to infused products, the flavor you taste should be just as enjoyable as the feeling you experience. Visit the website, LorraineOils.com. Now we're sitting here with a very famous guy, Shakur, over here. <laughs> I mean, Shakur, the last name, before we went into the trials Let's and go. tribulations. Shakur. And, and hearing about some of these, you know, complications that you, how, how crazy of a last name is that to have the same last name as Tupac? And I actually uh, met Tupac and, and it's a long story, but I used to always well, give bring him, it. I used let to me see. Give, what, what, give me the long story, please. Okay. That's Tupac for so God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. So let me it tell could, you. So let me tell you. It could be a long story. Yeah. yeah so that's me, when it is. So let me tell you this. It's funny that remember how you said I've been in in this industry for a while. I started selling weed when I was a teenager, right? And then I ended up going to prison for a while. And when I was in prison, I was actually the weed man in prison. 
I, nice. was, I was actually the guy there. And Tupac happened to come to prison in 95, and he was there, and I was giving him weed. Like, I wow. gave him some of the first weed when he came through there. What a great story. <laughs> Yeah. And a, did you guys geek out that you had the same last name like that? Yeah, but he was on the other side. He was never in, like, general population. I was in general population. He was on um, administrative segregation, which they keep him separate because of his stature. Stature, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But he, the yard he went through, there was a window right there. So I would throw it down to him in the window, and he would go and get it and, and, that, and go smoke. That's How right? Where was that at? And I was in Clinton, right? okay. down the mall. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. You know, I, you get a I, cannabis case or? No, no, no. I, I, I actually was incarcerated for something that was later overturned and I was released. I was, um, you know, I have a long story of, of trials and tribulations, sure but that I was later. arrested for a wrongful conviction and I was released um, after they discovered that it was wrongful and I was let back out. Wow. Wow. What a blessing. Thank God. That's a scary feeling. Yes. I mean, yes. I'm sure that was yes. a. A long, dark road to go down, especially for somebody like, wait a minute, why am I even going in for this? Yeah. Yes. That so happens to a lot of people. Came a long way then, you know, to having your own app. What kind of background do you have, uh, you know, prior to the app? Because, you know, and, and obviously, uh, you know, were, have you been selling cannabis your whole life or were you working in a different no, field? I have a business um, degree. I went to college, I have a business degree. My partner has a marketing degree. So we do know the business aspects uh, of you know, cannabis, not cannabis itself, because we're from New York and it just kind of opened. So like people say, well, I'm an expert. Nobody's an expert, it just opened. Like, yeah. you know, everybody's yeah, just yeah. learning in New York. Let's not fool so, each other. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we do have a, a business backgrounds and I'm a cannabis user, he is too. I smoke and enjoy recreational cannabis. He uses it for medical um, purposes, so, it just made sense for us seeing the industry growing in the way that it was and seeing what was about to happen and understanding that everybody can't have a dispensary. Somebody got to be the one who does the, you know, facilitates the networking between the people and that's what we wanted to do. And Alonzo, you use it for medicine. How and why and tell, tell us that story. All right, so I uh, was an athlete at some point I, and I had a, I would say Derrick Rose kind of years where I was hurt a lot. I had two knee surgeries. You're a basketball uh, player. I was. Um, you know what I mean? I'm retired. <laughs> I, I'm a family man now, mid 30s. So Father Time knocked on my door last year. I thought I was still young playing and uh, I tore my Achilles last summer on Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Ruined the whole day. Wife and kids were highly upset at me, but um, I wound up getting my New Jersey medical card because I, I wasn't with the prescription drugs that they I never took any of the drugs, no matter what surgery, I'll just lay in pain. I would never, because I knew what it did to people and I saw people in our community. I'm like, I, that, I, that can't be me. Yeah. So one, I started learning about it and then hanging with him and he's like, dude, why you're so behind on that? So I'm like, let me go get involved. And then I got involved and I use it. I'm now trying to get my parents who had like sciatica nerves and I'm educating a lot of people like, yo, this is where you need to be. It doesn't, it won't kill you. You won't overdose. You don't have these problems that these other uh, opioids, so to speak, have. So that's how I actually got involved by injury. And it, do, do you notice it helping you out a lot? And are you sitting there now telling all these other people, what have you noticed it helping other people with as well? Yeah, I'm an advocate because of the different, like, uh, it depends on how I use it. So like, if I'm if I have to be functional throughout the day, then I, I probably won't use any THC till I get home. <laughs> um, but CBD and, and the oils and the like topical creams uh, for some people, so it depends on the person. Like my parents don't really want to ingest, so I'll give them all the creams and the roll-ons and stuff. And you know, my dad can sit and watch the Nick game and be like in peace and not in pain. Um, so I advocate for that. Um, I use all different types of versions, you know, hot shower, you know, stuff like that. And I've noticed the difference in the feeling uh, in my body. Like I, like I said, I very rarely took those other pills and they didn't really hot, mask the pain. I just felt like a zombie when I took like an Oxy or something. Like it didn't, yeah. it didn't do anything for me besides make me not move. And now I can't address the pain. I'm still in pain. But you know, I, <clears throat> the first time I, and I, and I'm, you know, I've never taken it since is, I took a, 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 an oxy one time, and and you know, the, shame on the person that gave it to me because I, I wasn't prescribed by a doctor, but I was in a lot of pain, and 
but the guy's like, yo, dude, you know, here, just take one of these. You'll be, he said, take two of these, oh, no. first of all. <laughs> and I go, oh, you know what? I said, what is this? And he's like, oh, it's, it's Oxy. And I, at the, at the time, like I'd heard about it, but I didn't know really what it was. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take one. Are they strong? He's like, nah, they're, they're strong, but not that crazy. But I was like, I'll take one. And I took one and I was, I, I ended up, I was crawling through the room, oh. dude. I was throwing up. I mean, it yep. was such a nightmare experience for me just off of one. And, and I guess I, I you know, I, I, don't even, I clearly didn't feel any pain at the moment, but I was on my knees crawling. I remember throwing up and I was looking at my, what I thought was my friend turned out to not be my friend at all. But I'm looking at him going, what's going on, bro? Like, what, what, what did you give me? Oh, oh he's like, uh, you know, and he's thinking it's funny, you know? And, you know, I, I realize even to this day, like I've taken, uh, you know, uh, Vicodin, uh, you know, uh, uh, some of the other pills out there. And, and I'm very hesitant to take any of it because anytime I ever do, I get cold sweats. I feel sick, you know, and all these other things that I've taken to, to you know, what I consider too much cannabis, meaning that, I, you know, I, I feel uncomfortable. Right. There's been times where I've done that to myself and I know, you know, better. You know, that was right, my, but right. I, I, you know, I thought I could do 50 milligrams and then I hit 50 milligrams or whatever it was. And I'm just like, wow, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, but, but I didn't get sick. I, I went to sleep. You know, I, I was a little paranoid, you know, I felt a little paranoid. I felt a little uncomfortable, but I, I, I did not feel sick. I didn't feel like I was going to die. I wasn't throwing up. And the next day I wasn't like sweating and feeling weird. Yeah. And so I, you know, I encourage people, you know, especially to, to go to We Smoke app to learn about these things, you know, to find out more, to, to interact with the community, because when you interact with the community, you know, you, you tend to find that, you know, the cannabis community is one of the best communities I've ever been involved in. Like, sincerely, there's just some good, genuine people that really try to look out for each other. Don't get me wrong, there's bad actors in every team, in every, you know, in every, you know, yeah. field. But, you know, you guys have, have been around for a while now. I, I trust your guys' judgments. I'm excited to, 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 to learn more and, and, and help people learn more about We, we Smoke because I know that your guys' intentions are correct. I know that you're looking for the, the, you know, to help more people in this industry, and by doing that, you guys will win. Uh, you know, I, I'm excited to be working with you guys, man. So, what, what, what should we expect, you know, uh, you know, in the next years to come with this app? Well, let, let me say this because what you're saying is is crucial to why we did it in the first place, right? Um, we see where the industry is going, and we know that. The industry didn't just start today. It's been here, and it's been people who's been here for years, right? And our concern was that the narrative gets taken away from the legacy participants who have been here for the longest, and it becomes commercialized by big companies coming in and saying, okay, this is what we want the narrative to be. So by creating the app, we allow the community to learn from themselves so that they can connect and with other people who've been here who actually have been doing this for years and they can learn the stories from themselves we 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 we're creating badges you know how on Instagram you get a badge or right. certification yeah. Yeah. we're giving certifications to legacy participants ah. because those are our influences you see what I'm saying? I love that right there. You know what I'm saying? I love That's that, kind of cool man. right there. Be a legacy. Go get the app. Go check it out, you guys. If you don't know, now you know We Smoke app is the spot. We're going to come back. I want to ask how you guys met when we come back because you guys are co-owners of this beautiful app and website, all this good stuff. It's Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after this break. Keep it locked.
Let's talk about pop cones, folks. The first paper cone infused with real fruit yeah, yeah, terpenes. Yeah. Get your pop cones today and enjoy it. Check them out at popcones.com or on IG at Popcones USA or just grab one at a smoke shop near you. I want to thank everybody out here that's helping us out so, so much. Daniel, Cal, Christian A, Christian S, Denny, P Funk, Connor, Jorge, Cigar, Jessica S, Cash, Cam, Isaiah, Dallas, Eric, Alexa, Sarah, Jack, Jasmine, Maddie, Jessica P. Pianchi, Salar, Wilson, Ali, Cousin Ray, Goldie, Pitt, Mark Carnes, Erica, Jennifer, Chris Franchino, and Elvis. Man, we love you. Just thank you guys all. And Canna, and Canna Chris even for helping us out and walking around looking so great with uh, what he's doing over there. Cannabis uh, Chris. Cannabis Chris in the building uh, as we're all the way live at MJ BizCon 2022. Alonzo and Shabaka, how did you guys even meet to come up with this whole beautiful scenario? Well, first, I want to tell everybody, because us going around at these uh, booths, we are not father and son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've been asked well, They would tell you you're his dad? <laughs> They're like, oh, father and son? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. You guys have a family business. I'm like, nah, we're not related at all, yeah, but okay. We're related, bro. So I had to get that out the way for the viewers and everybody listening. It's like, we're not related. However. That's funny. He's definitely a close friend of mine. Um, we met through a mutual friend. So uh, in New York, I had a, a construction security company. And one of my guards was one of my top guys, my top security guard, who actually knew him for about 20 something years. And one day he just said, you remind, <coughs> you remind me of my boy. He's like, you guys have this like, this business acumen. He's like, I'm, I, that's not me. I, I, I'm just like the muscle guy, but like, I know how to pair people together. So I was going through some things, transitioning with my business. And then um, he brought me over to uh, where his business was at the time. And then from that day, which was like in 2019, that's my man's. <laughs> That's it, huh? That's a wonderful yeah. scenario. You know, it's always you, great when somebody goes, I see something. You know, you know, but it's also, it's a feel like, like sometimes you just resonate with people. You know what I mean? You roll up like, what's up? And, uh, and you're like, you remind me of one of my boys. And that, that usually goes a long way. I mean, it could happen really quickly. Now, you guys, you guys, I, I'm, I'm telling you this, you know, when, when you guys start something like this, I, I understand it because you know you're you're basically bringing on users and you're looking for people to adopt something, right? You know, right. And, and and it's funny how it all works. I'll tell you because you know you have these growth spurts and you're like yes, and then it's like oh, and then it's yes, and it's and so you know how is that struggle for the entrepreneur? Because I want people to know out there what you guys have been through to be here at MJ BizCon. You know, one of the biggest conventions in in cannabis. This is our NFL of of, of cannabis right here. So so how 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 difficult is it? Because I know that it, it, the journey is is not is, easy. It's not easy, man. So tell us tell us a little bit and give some of those entrepreneurs you know. Uh, uh, hope and, and, and strength because you guys have came such a long way and, and this is an amazing app. Let me let me say this, right? It, it, it hasn't been easy, but it's been sort of an evolution. Like, even though we did the app, initially, years a few years ago, I owned a bar, right? So I had a bar, restaurant, bar, lounge, and I used to do cannabis events. So in because I love doing cannabis in New York. Events. In New York, Big I ups. love doing cannabis Big events. Ups. Like I tell people, they're the best crowd to have. You know what I'm saying? Cannabis events always go smoothly, which is different. When people get drunk, they get rowdy. When people get high, they just want to chill. Yeah, they chill. Man. So, we was doing cannabis events. From there, I did a 420 event. I did Culture Fest 2019, which was the first open cannabis music event in New York City. Right? If you look it up. You, you could Google it. It was a cannabis music event in 2019 before it was legal that was promoted on radio. It was promoted in magazines. We did it in a warehouse. It was cannabis friendly. We had over a thousand people show up. It was a gigantic success. So we went from there to uh, um, continuing to do events and then decided, okay, let's do this, this, this app. Of course, it wasn't easy to get people, it's gonna be difficult to get people to switch over from Instagram to an app they don't know of, right? But the benefit is if you really know business, the benefit is this. If you promote on Instagram, one, they, they're gonna shut you down. Yeah. But two, if you promote on Instagram and a thousand people see your posts, right? How many of those people are cannabis people? Maybe a hundred. 
right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you promote on our app and a thousand people see your post, all thousand of them are cannabis people. It's hyper focused. Right. So it makes sense. As a business person, you're gonna understand that this is my market. I'm I'm promoting directly to my market. So it makes sense from a business perspective. So what we did was instead of focusing on the people, we've been focusing on the companies, on the businesses. Let's get them on the app. And then once we get all the businesses on the app, we promote them so that they can engage with each other, learn from each other. Then we worry about getting the masses of people on. So that's why we go to these events, to get the businesses on there so that they can utilize the app. And once they begin utilizing the app, then we bring them their customers. Come in here, what look I, what the resources are. Dude, brilliant strategy, by the way. You know, it, it makes the most freaking sense ever. And, and uh, you know, and how, how has the businesses been adopting your app? They love it. They love it, right? <laughs> yeah. It makes they all the sense it. in it the It makes world. sense. <laughs> it's just so simple. It, it's just like, you know, and, and does it give you notifications and all that stuff as well? It so gives you, know, you notifications. You can DM people. You can... Um, you can share, you can share, you can get followers. Everything that you can do in any of these other apps, you can do here. And because we haven't done the promoted post, everything is basically free. So you, you download the app for free, you create your own page, you, cr you control your own content, you post, and we will repost to make sure that nice. everybody sees it. Nice. And you guys will repost it from your page yes. itself the okay the way it works is this you have a page you got a 500 followers right on your on your we smoke page when you post all 500 people see it right when we post on we smoke page everybody, everybody sees, it. sees it so if you post 500 people see it if we if we post and we got 2,000 people on everybody sees it so we oh. will repost your post wow that's, That's always huge. Nice. Yeah, of course. And is there any way to get kicked off of yours, like on IG? Yes. <laughs> Doing <laughs> anything illegal. Tell them. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, example. no trap. Good, okay. good question. It is not a marketplace, right? Yes. You can promote and you can send people to your, to your site. You can send people to your store. You can do all of that. What you cannot do is transact over the, through it. Through the, through the app. Are you reading their messages? No. Okay. Whatever happens in the DM. That's so if I deal. say come pick up an ounce, tail and bounce, do whatever you need to do. Uh, if it's an open ounce, if you're like, yo, get an ounce on, come share, on a comment or something like that, then you know, then you'll be like, yo, you can't do that. Right. And then if they continue doing that, then we're you're like, down. yo, okay. Because we don't want to get the, we don't want to get nobody jammed up, and we definitely don't want to, you know, be in court having to, hey, this is the this is the information. Whatever happens in the DM, we don't get it, we don't see it. Right, respect. That's that's on y'all. That's you guys. Well, yeah. I, I love everything you guys are saying about it. Before we let you guys go, I want to do the high five with you guys because you guys are the first time on the show and you're from New York and doing your thing. We'll just ask you this question. We'll go Shabaka and then Alonzo, you'll answer right there next. First question is, how old are you the first time you smoked cannabis and where'd you get it from? The first time I smoked, I was 12 years old. Where'd you get it from? From my older cousin. Nice. <laughs> nice. nice. What about you? I was about... 20 <laughs> and I was in college one of my friends nice. question number two of the high five what is your favorite way to use or smoke cannabis I roll blunts hey I like the like the juices and shit like the, oh, the drinks the, yeah yeah that's my thing have you tried oh, yeah. the Cali FX one I haven't but I will today oh, right. <laughs> so let, me, let me tell you this real quick right so remember how he was telling about how he got hurt two years ago I, I tore my whole knee up in a motorcycle accident like literally I had to get surgery and everything right when I tore my knee up, I went back to um, to my bar, and my knee was literally almost hanging off. And they was like, yo, you got to go to the hospital. I said, just roll me a blunt. And I, just, <laughs> I sat no, there and smoked crazy. a blunt, and I was like, good. And then I went back to my house, and my knee had swollen up like this. And my girl was like, no, you got to go to the hospital. Yeah. And, and then I went to the hospital, but I smoked the blunt, and it was good. Wow. He's crazy. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that is great. And that was your favorite way to use cannabis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number three. I mean, there we go. Question number three of the high five. Craziest place you ever used cannabis or smoked? My craziest place? Uh, probably at my friend's baby shower. No way. I was, I was lit up like <laughs> bad. I, I was, well, I at least the baby up. wasn't there yet. Yeah, thank it, it God. The shower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? I think the craziest place would probably be when I was in prison. We would take our break from our drug program and go in the bathroom and smoke. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take a break from that. 
Question number four of the high five. What is your go-to munchie after you get high? I'm a sweets person. So, like, I, I, I got, like, honey buns and all that in the house. Uh, like, what is it, the Swiss rolls and all that stuff? Nice. That's me all day. He said the honey buns. All that, all Can day. I get a honey bun? <laughs> I love the honey buns. Uh. I am still and have always been a cereal person. I put a bowl of cereal What's in What kind? Place. Apple Jacks. Ooh. I haven't heard that one in a minute. That's the Jacks in a minute. Boy. Question number five with a high five. I'm going to ask this question. And I'm going to step to the right because my bladder is going crazy here, you guys. Yeah. This is my third water, and I'm sorry. Gotcha. But if you could smoke cannabis with anyone, dead, dead or alive, alive, who would it be and why? I would go Bob Marley. Why? I know that's probably like a famous, uh, popular one, but... I'm, I'm, I'm big into history, um, the people before us, the MLKs, the Malcolm X's, those, I'm, I'm big on that. So Bob Marley was clearly instrumental in multiple things in our, yeah. in our life. Uh, and I would just want to pick his brain and what was going on in, at that time. Yeah, you know, it's a legendary, you know, lyricist and, you know, people that have the ability to write like that, you have to imagine where their mindsets are. You know what I mean? And you? I'll probably say Snoop. Snoop? He's Ladies the, and gentlemen, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the, the like, godfather of weed. <laughs> yeah, Snoop is, is one of the all-time favorites, man. Listen, guys, it, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Is there anything else that we want to you know, touch before we let you get, get on out of here? We just want to tell everybody, download the app. The app is free. Download the app. Start your app page. Instagram grew, not because of anything Instagram did, but because the people decided hey let's get on this page and and utilize it here's an app that's specifically for the cannabis community get on it and utilize it it's important that the cannabis industry you know does this uh you know i i i, I mean that it we have to support these things uh it, it is a, a a platform for our community is there anything else my man yeah i just want to tell people just one thing as you're crying and complaining about your page and this is your fourth or fifth instagram page yeah do why continue to go somewhere where you're not wanted yeah they're not let, allowing you to eat at their restaurant we have the buffet for you come eat with we on, smoke man. bring let's, your people let's go man well there it is guys it's cannabis talk 101 and remember this if no one else loves you we, we do. do thank you for listening to cannabis talk 101 on the iheart radio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts make sure you like follow and subscribe to the show now